Okay, you're right. Welcome to your video tutorial on finding the rule for linear relationships. Now, before we begin, we need to do a bit of revision. Okay, just quickly. Cartesian planes. They have two axes, an x-axis and a y-axis. Okay, we can plot different points. Okay, coordinates are given to us, okay, and they may be something like 2, 3. Okay, that means I need to go along. I start at the origin. Okay, I start at the origin on my Cartesian plane, which is always here in the center. Okay, and I go along the x axis to maybe positive 2, which is indicated here. This first coordinate is always my x coordinate. And then I go up to positive 3, which would probably be about here. And that's where I plot my point, okay? That's 2, 3. I don't plot a point here and then a plot there and then a point there. No, no. I'm just after 2, 3, which is a point up here in the first quadrant, okay? My points are always given as X and Y. Now, sometimes I can be given things like this, a whole set of points, okay? And I can be given a table that looks a little bit like this, okay? And it has a few more numbers. And it will have a series of numbers underneath. This here is called a table of values. I may be asked to plot these points. When I plot these points on a Cartesian plane, some of the time it's interesting to notice that these points, once I've plot them, all seem to form a straight line. And if I connect the dots, they all connect up like that. If they form a straight line, this is known as a linear pattern, okay, or a linear relationship, okay. Sometimes we get also given the rule, we just get the table and the y section is blank, and we get given a rule like y equals 2x plus 2, and we're asked to input the formulas. That's what you were doing at the end of last, uh, at the end of last lesson last term. So if it says y equals 2x plus 2, I go 2 times negative 2 is negative 4, plus 2, negative 4 degrees, and it gets 2 degrees warmer, it becomes negative 2. 2 times x, 2 times negative 1 is negative 2, plus 2 is 0, 2 times 0 is 0, plus 2 is 2, and I'm asked to fill them in. This guy here is called a table of values. I use a table of values in order to plot things on my Cartesian plane. This here, this little thing here, is called a rule. Today we are going to learn how to find the rules for linear relationships using this table of values, okay? Last lesson you were given it and asked to put it in the table. Now you'll be given the table and asked how the hell do you work out what the rule is? It seems tricky, but it's actually quite easy. So, let's make a start. So, what is it? To show that a linear graph is formed when coordinates plotted, the points may be joined to form a straight line, and you learnt that last lesson. Okay. That basically means if you dot a whole lot of points to show it's a line, draw a line to connect them. When coordinates form a linear pattern, a rule can be found for that pattern or that line. The rule has to work for every coordinate in the pattern. If you're a little bit confused at the moment, it's okay, we'll get there. So, let's have a look at this table of values. I've just done a really, really simple one. It's showing that it's, it's showing the X and Y coordinates. No, I, I just get rid of that word as. It shows the X and Y coordinates, okay? Can you see a relationship between X and Y that matches for all the points? Okay. So when x is 0, let's start with the positive numbers. That's my recommendation. I always start. When x is 0, y is 2. Okay, so x is 0, y is 2. That means it's going up by 2 in that question. Okay, let's look at the next number. Okay, when x is 1, y is 3. Oh, it goes up by 2 again. So y is x plus 2 at the moment. Let's see if it works for all of my numbers. So when x is 2, y is 4, it's going up by 2 again. Yeah, it works for that. When x is negative 1, 
Y is positive, what, negative 1, 0, 1. Okay, so now I've worked out that this table of values, the relationship between X and Y is that whenever whatever X is, you add 2 and that's Y. Now, how do I write that as a rule? Well, rules are always written as Y equaling something in relation to X. Okay, so we always write y equals, okay, and if I said for whatever x is, I add 2 and that gives me y, because I said it was going up by 2, so when it was 1, 1 plus 2 is 3, 2 plus 2 is 4, 0 plus 2 is 2, negative 1 plus 2 is 1. I'm saying when y is x, and then I'm adding 2. So how I write that is an equation, y equals x plus 2, okay, that's my rule. If I was to then graph that linear relationship, this is what it would look like. So I'd have a whole series of points, okay, and they go up here. I just haven't drawn my dots in. I've just drawn my line. They go all the way, all the way, and they continue going, and I draw my line going up, okay. That's what that relationship looks like graphed. So once I've found the relationship, it's then a good idea to graph it. So to find the rule. We look at the x value and then the y value for each coordinate. Now, you might have heard the way I was doing it. I started with the negative num or the positive numbers and then I moved on. Once I thought I could see a relationship, I tried it for every coordinate. Okay, Like I did, I started with the positive numbers first. I tried adding and subtracting. This one was a pretty easy one, so... That, that was quite easy. Then I tried to multiply and divide. I didn't need to. It was pretty straightforward. But that's what we do. We try adding and subtracting and then multiplying and dividing if necessary. Like I did, the rules are written as equations. Okay, so we always start with y equals. So our rule is y equals x plus 2. That means the y value is equal to the x value and then I've added 2. Find the rule for this set of points. Okay, right. Trial and error. That's how I do it. Trial and error. Let's look. When x equals 0, y equals negative 5. Okay, when x equals 0, y equals negative 5. Okay, let's look at the difference. What's the difference between 0 and negative 5? Well, that's kind of subtracting 5, isn't it? 0 subtract 5 is negative 5. What's 1 subtract 5? 1 0, negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, negative 4, okay. Okay, that works for that. So it's kind of like x equals x, oh no, sorry, sorry, y equals, I remember, I write my equations with y. y equals, now I think it's x subtract 5, works for that one, works for that one. Negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, negative 4, negative 5, negative 6, it works for that one too. Negative 2, negative 3, uh, negative 4, negative 5, negative 6, negative 7. Okay, it works for that one too. Okay, so y equals x subtract 5. Awesome. See how I did that, guys? I know that might have sounded a bit crazy to you, like I was muttering like a crazy person, but that's how you need to do it. The rule for this one is x subtract 5. Now, that was pretty basic, okay? Sometimes we may be asked for more difficult ones that might, so far we've only looked at addition and subtraction. Sometimes we need to look, sometimes, sorry, they may involve multiplication. Let's have a look at this one here. Find the rule for this set of points. Mm. So when x is 0, y, y is 0, mm, okay. When x is 1, y is 3. When x is 2, y is 6. Okay, now I notice if I add, there's a difference of nothing between that, 2 between that, 4 between, okay. So I can't be adding, and I'm not subtracting, okay. Because I can't just say x plus 2, because 2 plus 2 is 4, which means it wouldn't work for that one there. Okay, so it mustn't be adding or subtracting. Okay, let's try multiplying. Zero, oh, okay, I don't really understand this one here because zero is just getting zero, so that seems a bit weird. So let's try. What do I have to multiply one by to get three? Oh, three, okay. What do I multiply? Let's try multiplying two by three. Two times three is six. Oh, okay, okay, so, so good, good, good. That's 
multiplied by 3? That's multiplied by 3. What's 0 multiplied by 3? Oh, 0, of course. Okay, okay, so that's why that one can be 0. What's negative 1 multiplied by 3? Oh, negative 3. What's negative 2 multiplied by 3? Negative 6. Okay, so I know that y is x multiplied by 3. So y equals x multiplied by 3. Now I know from all of my algebra, I don't write x multiplied by 3, okay? Because that's not how I show x multiplied by 3. I need to write it as y equals 3x, okay? And that rule, y equals 3x, fits for all my different points. y equals 3x fits for all of my different points. And I have to check that and make sure that it does. Okay. See how I did that again, guys? Sounded like a crazy person. Checking every single answer. It's trial and error. Trial and error. That's addition rules, multiplication rules. Sometimes they can get even trickier. Sometimes they're really mean. And they ask you something that involves not just addition or subtraction, but a combination of both. Let's have a look. Find the rule for this set of points. Okay. Right. Okay. When y x equals 0, y equals 1, so that's adding 1. When y equals 1, plus 1 is 2, so it can't be an addition 1. Okay. What do I have to do from 1 to get to 4? 1 multiplied by 4 is 4. Okay, so maybe it's x multiplied by 4. 2 multiplied by 4 is 8. Oh, so it, it can't be that. 3 multiplied by 4 is 12, and that's less again. Okay, so maybe I have to do a combination. Maybe I do a combination of multiplication and addition. What about 1 times 2 is 2, plus 2 gets me 4. So 1 times 2, so 2x, two 1 times 2 is 2, plus 2. Let's see if 2x plus 2 fits for all of them. What's 2 times 2? 4. Plus 2 is 6. No, nope, scrap that idea. It's not going to be that. Okay, maybe it's multiplied by 1 multiplied by 3 is 3 plus 1. So maybe I try multiplying each number by 3 and then adding 1. Okay, so 1 multiplied by 3 is 3 plus 1 is 4. One multi 2 multiplied by 3, so I'm multiplying by 3 and then I'm adding 1. 2 multiplied by 3 is 6, plus 1 is 7. Hey, 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 this looks good so far. 3 multiplied by 3 is 9, plus 1 is 10. Oi, going well. 0 multiplied by 3 is 0, plus 1 is 1. Negative 1 multiplied by 3 is negative 3, plus 1 is 2. Okay, so... I know to get y, I multiply x by 3 and then I have 1. Now, how do I write that as a rule? Okay, y equals, so I multiply x by 3, okay, now 3x, and then I add 1 plus 1. Okay, so my rule for this set of points is y equals 3x plus 1. See how I did it again? Crazy person muttering, trial and error. That's the only way you're going to get these guys. Persist at them. Try different options. Try dividing. Try multiplying. Try multiplying and dividing. Try multiplying and adding or adding and subtracting. It's just a matter of trial and error. And that's it, guys. That's finding a rule for a set of points.